So Mark, okay. we are not yep. on a Grand Prix weekend. You are not a, a, a racing driver, uh, so you can eat everything. Anything. Well, yes, I still try and make an effort, but uh, and you are in great shape. I'm, so. I'm, I've got a few more kilos on board since I stopped, oh. but uh, this looks tremendous. I mean, what do we got here? I mean, this is uh, super local. It's super local, yeah. It's uh, chicken soup. Oh. Uh, it's hot chicken soup. We have some paprika. It's very hot. Take care with it. Oh. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is this is a traditional Hungarian soup. Just one question about. Uh, eating during during a racing career yeah was it hard and tough to be on a diet yeah i mean for me it was pretty challenging because <laughs> i was a little bit taller You're than tall. the other guys so uh, i had to really when i was racing they would probably weigh me probably six to ten times on a race weekend yeah. so friday you know, two or three times <laughs> yeah. saturday so you were getting weighed a lot yeah. of course they cannot lose weight on the weekend i have to i have yeah. 11 months of the year i need to be pretty much on yeah. weight i love chocolate i love ice cream <laughs> i love red wine i love all those things when i was racing of course yeah. i had very very little of those i needed to do a lot of cardio obviously to keep yeah. the metabolism up but uh yeah it was in my interest to stay light because yeah. if i stayed light i had better performance from yeah. the car so it was um my sister always said to me that i had no ass i had no ass cheeks when i was racing she said where are your ass they're not they're, it's not there so and so now i actually have a little bit it's a bit of fats coming and she's uh she's a bit happier but well, not happier but she's like thankfully you look healthy now yeah instead of like a skeleton so uh okay my racing days was they're well past